guys and welcome to this uh, next lesson that I've made but today will be on picking. I've had lots of requests and questions about how I pick, the way I pick and uh, what is the best way to pick. It's quite a boring topic some may think but it can drastically improve your playing. So today I thought I'd just show you a few different picking techniques and sort of a timeline of how I used to pick and then all the way up to how I pick now. Show you a few close-ups and uh, couple of tips how to get there so I hope you enjoy this one and uh, without further ado here it is. Now when I started to play guitar I used to pick with the point of the finger and the point of the thumb which worked alright for some ribbon playing but meant I had to sort of screw the hand up a bit when I was trying to do some fast alternate picking runs and then afterwards after getting into Paul Gilbert's music and watching him I got into playing on the flat of the finger curved round which drastically improved picking very quickly. At first it feels a bit odd but it drastically improves it and you watch pretty much all players will play like that and it works very well. I'll give you a few close-ups now. Right, now here's the first way I used to pick when I first got into guitar playing. I used to hold the pick between the point of this finger here and the point of the thumb here. So what you'd have is sort of a big circle shape like that and pick like this. Which was, for rhythm playing it was all it was all right, but for leads, I'd have to sort of push it out a bit more like this, which made it very awkward and it wasn't very efficient. It was quite sloppy, and I can't actually play like that now because I've been doing the other method for so long. And it's very difficult with the big pick as well. I always used to use the tiny little stubbies, but with a pick like this, it's very difficult. After watching many other guitar players, especially Paul Gilbert and obviously Malmsteen. I began to look how they used to pick and saw that the first finger here would be bent round like this with the pick between it so it would be like this and that's how I started to do it. So what, what you basically do is you'd have the curve of the finger like this, place the pick here like this and then grip it with the thumb over the top so like this. It gives you a lot more control so you can also pick just by moving the thumb, notice it's known as circle picking, and the first finger. So you end up with a movement like this. And uh, less is more, as they say with picking. The less movement you do, the less excess noise there will be. And this is a very efficient method. Let's show you now. <laughs> Yeah, absolute maximum control over the pick. And uh, some say picking like this means you can't get harmonics, but after a while it does become a lot easier. So I never had any issue with that, but some may. But basically, to recap, instead of picking with the pick between the fingers like this, the point of the finger. Try swapping around to play it on the flat of the finger, this part here. So you put the pick in, grip with the thumb, you should have something like this. Very efficient and uh, a lot better way to pick in. Another thing I should talk about when on the topic of picking is anchoring. For those who don't know, anchoring is where you have these loose fingers that you do not pick with, which will be these three here, latched on to somewhere on the guitar, so resting on maybe the bottom of the bridge pickup, or maybe on the pick guard. You'll know if you do anchor, because you'll see where your nails scratch, if you have a pick guard on your guitar, or especially a matte finished guitar, you'll see under the pickups there'll be a big mass of scratches, where the, your nails will scratch against it because you anchor. Now I always used to anchor up to about a year ago when I got my uh, Malmsteen Strat and uh, it it worked well for it didn't it worked well for everything but sweet picking became a bit sloppier because you sort of when, when you're moving your hand across the strings you tend to sort of scrape across them and there's a lot of excess noise it didn't it, it didn't work too bad for alternate picking but it could have been a lot better but um, after switching to unanchored and having this having the hand slightly curved round but off the body and just floating in the air 
you get a lot more accurate and sweeping becomes a lot cleaner. I'll show you some close-ups of what I mean now. So as I've said, anchoring is basically holding on to maybe the bridge pickup or resting on an area here with these three fingers that you're not using to pick with because you're using this one to pick with. So what I basically used to do was mainly these two would be sort of resting here. So it'd be picking like that. So it'd always come, sort of be angling these up and down, which some, some players do prefer. And it sort of gives them an anchor point so they know where each of the strings are in relation to the distance. They move like this, but I don't like it. And it's a, a lot messy, especially for sweep picking, because you'll be going, scrape, you'll be moving like this, and it'll be a lot, you're a lot less free. So you tend to scrape across the open strings or smudge strings quite a lot. So basically, all I, st I started off with the hands completely out here, which after a while getting used to it, like anything new, it takes getting used to it. It felt better, but after a while, I watched some players and having all the fingers splayed out here like this. This was very unnatural. Most players tend to be unanchored but sort of bring the hand in not to not to a complete closed fist like this say Paul Gilbert would but sort of having it sort of the fingers rack tucked in but so you can still use them for easy use for some tapping or hybrid picking so I do uh, like me some hybrid picking but yeah so if I give you a close up of that sideways and then front you can see what I mean with anchoring. So as you can see here on my preferred pick position, I'm playing unanchored, but you can see the, st the fingers are tucked in, but they're not like this, and they're obviously not anchored. So they're easy. So they're, they're a good balance point for when you're picking. But they're also there if you ever want to do some. hybrid picking. Very comfortable position. It obviously feels different at first, but I think everything does. Especially with picking, because you're not changing anything on your left hand. But with the right hand, you're trying to do something different. It feels very odd, but it's a very comfortable position. Not straining. It's perfect for sweeping. General picking, and then obviously your hybrid picking. Very good method, and it improves your accuracy of picking very very quickly like likewise does changing from picking say like this to this I found it felt a bit odd at first but clean, clean playing faster accurate playing came quite qu quickly so uh, that's basically the way I pick and I find uh, it's a very good way <laughs> used to pick on the electric guitar. I don't. Rec I never used or recommend any exercises just because most of the exercises you would find are the chromatic exercises and they are just unbelievably boring and uh, I don't find they're very motiv motivating to play especially when when you're warming up they're perfect but learning a technique especially when it's supposed to be a technique that gets you to do something proper badass I just don't find they're massively interesting but that's just me you may find that the chromatic exercise is easy, but I just prefer playing sort of scalic passages on all six strings on single strings, which is a common Malmsteen thing. And uh, using that method or what you play now, you just change into a method and see how things go. And then uh, as you're picking and techniques develop, so we're playing. So I hope you found this uh, video useful, and uh, hopefully we'll see some badass shred picking right hands here on uh, Jolly YouTube. Many lessons coming soon. I uh, do have a lot of requests for things and I will try and get through as many as possible. So uh, bear with me and I will try and get everything out as quick as possible and as good as possible. So uh, I'll see you soon.
take it easy.